He's everywhere I look. I know he's there even when I'm not looking. I feel his presence, the weight of his glance from my head to toe. I feel him. I think he's even here right now. Everywhere. But who is he? That guy. I clearly remember. <laughs> God. I won't even ask if you can see him too. I know he's here. He was hearing before I realised. Before that Thursday. When our eyes met across the street. Go. <laughs> I had other stuff going on in my head. Obviously. But it's like, those were the last normal eight seconds of my life. If I could go back, I don't know, maybe choose a different path, run away. Have you ever tried talking to him, facing him? Every time I try, I just get scared. Even when I think about it, I start trembling. It's like, I can't. I feel like I can't. He's there. He's definitely there, but at the same time, he's not here. It's like there's a barrier between our two worlds. <laughs> Jesus, listen to me. Okay, never mind. So, when is he here? How? Wake up, fresh water, breakfast, uni, that road, him. Friends, home, dinner, bed. Wake up, fresh water, breakfast, uni, that road, him. Work, home, bed. Wake up, fuck, I'm late. No time for breakfast. That road, him. Work, shit, it's raining, I haven't got an umbrella. Home, shower. <laughs> Pretty boring, I know. But, I just wish I could go back to it. For all that time, I didn't notice his constant invisible presence. He was part of my routine. But suddenly, he was there. I noticed he had a notebook. I thought he might be a writer or poet or something, looking for inspiration and muse, I don't know. I noticed something else though. His eyes. His eyes were fixed upon me, tattooed to my body. He was literally seeing through me. From that moment my life changed. There wasn't a place I could go where I didn't see him. I felt like an insect under some scientist's curious eyes all the time. He's gone. Like this. But I feel this sort of connection. Like he's my brother or something. Which is creepy because I don't know who he is. I've never seen him before. Connection. Like a bond. Which I don't understand. I don't understand why he's here. Him and his bloody notepad. And nobody sees it. Nobody except me. Last night I reached the bottom. That's why I'm here. His presence became so oppressing. He fucked up my mind. He deprived me of the only place I found sanctuary. From his eyes. From his notepad. And now I'm here talking to a therapist. I was just scared. I was scared no one would believe me. How Have I, I gone insane? Doctor. Doctor.
I gone insane, doctor? It doesn't work. 